Welcome everybody to another episode of uh, Let's Play with your host here, Bones. Now I know what you're saying, Bones. Why won't you wear your skeleton mask anymore? I do. Um, this game here is between the stars. They have a Kickstarter. Uh, we will get that link for you down below. And guys, they also have a Discord channel. We have that link for you below as well. Uh, make sure you watch this game. Um, I'm going to pick James Scott. This game has a, a, a lot from what I saw from the uh, press kit that I looked at here. It looks to be quite an interesting game that's never the same twice, and I love games like that. Let's be honest, nowadays replay value is what we go for in games, and uh, this looks like this was done quite well. So we're going to check this out. Uh, I'll give you my honest thoughts about it. I will have the links for you below that you need to enjoy this. Please make sure to support games like this on Kickstarters and developers like this on the Kickstarter. Because, uh, you know, if you're like me... Uh, I've seen a lot of AAA titles that I really just think are... They don't put anything in it anymore. Oh, look at this right off the bat. Now, I'm using my mouse to do this. Crew, boost warp drive to full power. But, Captain... I said full power. That's an order. Redistributing power. Capacitors charging in four, three... I'll say one thing. The camera's very smooth. Just a bit more! I wonder, what are we doing? Are we all running? Successful. We've made it. So our engineer's name is Wanda. Uh, I should have paid attention to everybody Five else's damage thing. analysis. Starting damage assessment protocol. And our AI is named Mai. Testing main engines. So all you do is move the mouse button. Your mouse wheel up and down to control your speed. Now that's kind of cool right there. I like that. That's simple. Uh, if you can look, you'll see a HUD in the lower right corner. Good indicators for your forward speed, or indicators for rearward speed, or blank when stationary. Um, I feel like that click 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 sound is probably not good. Oh, move the wheels go up. Okay, so we're gonna do reverse, and we are reversing. Okay. Moderate damage. Engines operational. Testing navigation systems. All right, so WS tilt the forward ship. Oh, okay. Left and right. Oh, so we can barrel roll. We can barrel roll, guys. Operational. Testing power systems. Aha, now this is the part that I was worried about. But actually, this is, uh, this looks like this is pretty easy to do here. That is up to assign energy to weapons, left to assign all energy to engines, and right to assign all energy to shields. So I feel like you're going to have some strategy going on here. So let's do up. Let's do left. You can see it in the lower uh, right corner there, if you guys look. Uh, they're gonna hit right. Power distribution correct. So let's put two on each and make them even. Captain, we're detecting warp signatures in the vicinity. Oh crap! We've been followed. Prepare for attack. We're gonna move a little here. Not much, but just a little. I feel like a stationary ship is just a sitting duck, so let's not be the sitting duck, shall we? Ah, if you look there on the left, you can also see our heat signature, so the 
feel like they're not quite in our distance yet. And it says 100% on theirs, but I feel like they're gonna give chase. So let's let them chase us a little, shall we? I don't know what this other stuff is, but already I'm liking this tutorial. It's clean. Uh, it's a nice tutorial. Tell you what we're gonna do. Oh, shit. I should not have. Should not have backed that, okay? We're gonna barrel roll this. Let this heat sink down a little. I apologize to you all. I just want to get the barrel rolls out of the way here. Shit. I heated up too much. Oh, there's the ship themselves. What the hell was I doing? I don't know. So the ships themselves are below the actual thing. But I'm learning, so I didn't know, guys. Don't hate on me. So those are the ships themselves. I'm wailing on that. To ya! To you! No, mother's gone. Oh no! Reinforcements incoming. We need more firepower. Oh, shit. Now let's go. Ships here, Defector. Alright. So, plus action. I'll direct the nuclear missile to take the enemy ships. Uh, plus. Oh boy. It is plus two, the left mouse button. Machine gun, but the other one seems to be. Am I not doing this right? Two plus left mouse button. Jeez, I'm goofy. So, uh, alright, let's do this. Did that do it? Did I do it? Okay, so I did it. Fire when you see the whites of their ship. That doesn't sound good, whatever they're doing there. So far our shields are alright. And we are clearly still moving. We're not moving very fast, but we're moving. So let's, uh... We're going backwards straight into the fight, because I'm crazy like that. So far I've learned two things. It is suck with aiming. I'm bad with directions, but I'm learning. Ooh, there it is, there it is. Did you see it that time, guys? That was it. That is our little nuke missile that is hunting the ship down. You can even watch it back there. Look at it go. See it? Uh, you don't know what you're getting. But you're gonna get the business now. Yahtzee, baby. Now we got one ship there. We're gonna kill this one with just good old fashioned, uh, good old fashioned firepower. Depending on where it is, why is it taking so long to get there? Did I did I damage it? I could damage something on it. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go backwards in reverse and catch up with it. I want to get this thing dead. I want to dead at it. I 
And now we've launched another nuke. Hopefully this hits it. Let's do this. Now I don't know how many nukes we have. You can see there on the lower left there is a panel that seems to let me know when we have... Um, I think that nuke missed. We're gonna hammer the shit out of this ship right now, that's what we're gonna do. Let's see what we can do here. I'm hoping I can find a part of this and I can actually really hit. Because so far, we're not doing much. I feel like there are even little things down there. But they'll explain to us. But if you look in the lower right hand corner, you can actually see them. So there are other ships there that I keep wailing with the nuke. I think that's a lesson here, is that uh, I'm supposed to use this missile for these. And if that's the case, that's alright. But so that you know, there are also, from what I have seen on this, uh, interpersonal things that happen that I have to make choices on. And this is also being called a road bike. So there's lots of stuff going on with this game here, guys. Uh, we right now are three ships out from finishing these guys off. I don't know what the deal is here. I keep zooming in a bit. Maybe I should not make that. I should just... Here it goes. Well, we will, uh, you can see there on that guy there, that one of them has shields that are down, or had them that were down, it looks like. Um, I'm just waiting for them to catch up. I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to turn about face this way and go full speed forward and take them out. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Yeah, you thought I'd run? You thought I'd run? We're Let's Players. That's probably like the least threatening sounding threat ever, isn't it? <laughs> We're Let's Players! Or so you! Sound like Conan O'Brien imitating a nerd, didn't I? Is it like, ooh, wait, let's play. <laughs> that was awful. That was awful of me, right there. Never let me do that again, people, please. Um, I'm looking now to see if I see this little crap. Oh, I don't like that noise at all. heat on this one. Did we get one? I don't know what the hell that noise is. Although I doubt it's good. Oh god, one of them is really damn close to me right now.
Yahtzee, baby! These are big ships. These are like frigates. I know enough about Space Nerd games to know what a frigate is when I see it. There's a real easy target there, so let's try and get them. I'm not even denting their shields, guys. Trying! Trying! I am severely outmatched. <sighs> and I am freaking over. Overheating like crazy here. This is nuts. I got everything I can I'm throwing at this ship, and I'm just. It ain't happening. Well, one thing I will say is this the graphics, pretty. Dig them. Ship combat seems to be pretty decently forward, although I wish they would have thrown me maybe one of these and a few more easier targets. Basically just little hamburger ships that my my big ship here could feel like it was better at whooping right off the bat for these monsters. Feels a little excessive, personally, but that's just me. Um, I wish I knew how to, like, focus on a single part of the ship. Is there a way? I don't know, guys. So let's learn. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn this way, exposing our side, because that's always good. Seeing if I can find some weakness in their ship here. Because um, I fr Oh, God. I didn't mean to do that. I frankly do not know. I think I should have just was that. that. You gotta have a damn weakness, really, now. Well, it looks like I got one of them. At least this one. Overheat very quickly. The game didn't tell me I could do this yet. So let's see what one does. Because I'm a rebel. Jesus, that looks like one hell of a huge barrage. So I definitely wailed on that. Um, just big ships, man. Big ships. There are a few other things here that I'm curious as to what they are. But I don't want to get too far ahead of the... Oh, that one I love. And it tells me to maintain and watch my player on a certain part of the ship, but I'm doing that. The underside. I am so just not cutting through at all, man. So we're trying. We are trying, guys. Okay, so that's... Uh, this is up and down. And then E and Q are left and right, so we're gonna try to face our enemy directly and basically hammer on the front of the ship here and hope to god that something good happens. Yahtzee happens! That's what the hell happens. Look at that. You see what I'm saying? That literally just knocked the shields down a bit. I feel like that didn't yet kill the ship. I would like some indicator that I'm really wailing the shit out of this ship. Um... Although I can see some damage here, it looks like, so let's maybe keep hitting that, eh? Maybe that's what I'm, they mean. 
I'm still learning the game, guys, so uh, to the devs, if you see this, I do apologize for doing this wrong. Uh, I'm still learning this. Doing everything I got at this damn ship. Hoping I can just lay waste to this thing. But this is a big ship, man. And frankly, this is quite a big tutorial. Not a bad tutorial, but uh, holy cow, Captain. I'm guessing these are their engines. I would like it if I could map or see the systems on a ship. And maybe I can, I don't know. What does M do? Nothing. Nothing right now, that's what it does. It probably does something later, I'm guessing. I'm gonna have to be cutting through something on this ship. This is craziness for me to think that I'm doing nothing to this ship. Um, so, we're gonna face it again. Which is as simple as just steering with the last keys. Finally! Um, no, not fine. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong here, but we're trying. Now, I don't know if these ships are shooting me or not. I don't think they are. I think... Oh, shit. Now they're shooting me. Okay. Well, shit just got real, guys. <laughs> I was not expecting all that nonsense. Uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if maybe the tutorial needed a boost or what, but that just got really real. Like, really freaking real right there. And now I seem to be able to actually damage them. I don't know what happened. But we have just whale one of them at least, so we're gonna come back for the rest and try them like luncheon meats. I don't know what in the hell just happened there, but that was craziness. It's almost like they had to get within a certain distance of me, and all of a sudden the tutorial was like, and now you're gonna get your ass kicked. Uh, and it was correct. Because holy shit, this has been uh, crazy. So yeah, let me tell you this. Shit. Fighting very intense in this game. But so far we are coming out. Everything's coming out millhouse, guys. So let's uh, let's get our ass going on these guys, shall we? Ah. I need that one there, and that gives us one left, guys. One left. Yes! Alright. Wow. All right, team. Is everyone all right? That could have probably been a little smoother, I'll be honest, to the dev, I think. Cluster ship waits your, uh, first row root. Cluster ship becomes a holographic image. Two casualties confirmed. And the fire button over the red dot to sell again. Oh, God. Okay, so, whoa, whoa. Calm down, calm down, man. Calm down. So, let's learn. We're horrible at flying. I'm one of those people that d hate, I, I do horrible with the reverse flying, you know what I mean? So we're going to go forward slowly. Let's start salvaging. Just from some ships, careful. Okay, so we salvaged our first ship, guys. So that wasn't too bad to learn, eh? So it's common. Let's do more. Let's do more here. One more shit, so let's get it. Slowly, Chief, slowly. So, you want to hold that over that, and not so a jet. There's another. There's another. There's another. God, hurry it up. Ah, oh, you dick. Alright, I'll get get this one. Oh, God. Going too quick. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Alright, I think this is what I need to do here. It says, I... Open the escape salvage pod. So that would be open. My credits. All right.
No, obviously I can pop this cannon on my sh Can I? Corpse, corpse. So it's quite rare. Let's open this. What do we get, baby? Holy shit, Captain. We got, uh, stuff. Yes. Yes, I think that's a thing. Can I just drag and drop these? How do I work these? Do I just double click them? I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, it's a Gatling gun with the Republic, a Mr. Mr. Lancho, a plasma cannon, like plasma cannon, like cannon, like plasma cannon. This is a cannon of the Republic Mark II. Uh, it does better damage on some of mine, so. Not as much as this one, but I certainly wouldn't mind it here, but how do I get it? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna close the inventory and keep some of Repairs needed immediately. Okay, All right, Mai, what's our current position? We are currently in the Thalassic sector. It is on the outskirts of the Interstellar Republic's headquarters. We should be able to reach it using our drive engines. Preparing warp drive. Yeah, yeah. Before we prepare any warp drive, we're going to be finishing our salvage. I fought for this shit. I fought for it, damn it. I want it. All these burned out husks of ships, we're taking everything we can, guys. So here's what I'm doing to do this. I am marching forward a bit with three, and then you'll notice the dots go down to one. I'm switching them down to one when we actually reach the salvage, and as I said, you mouse over this red area, pull that down, and that's as hard as it is to salvage. Now, this may very well be one of the easiest uh, salvaging and any space game I've ever played, because uh, even unlike, you will just say another space game that has salvage, you don't even need to worry about having a salvage shoot or a salvage, uh, yeah, salvage, salvage scoop, not shoot, the hell. Which makes this game very ideal for some of this stuff, so that's pretty cool right there. Now we got two more ships before I do anything like that, then I'm grabbing an opening. Um, we earned this, we had our fight, and uh, I'm the sort of person in real life that probably would have made one hell of a good scrapper. Um, you get that a lot here in Michigan, I'll be honest. There are a lot of people that do scrap work. Scrapping is kind of like the frowned upon thing that people do, but no one wants to talk about. But let's be real uh, for a minute. It, it is something that happens. Um, it's kind of a, it's not really even a gray area of the law, it's just generally considered legal, illegal yet. There are a lot of people that will do it. Okay, so let's do ourselves a favor here. We grab two more pods. And open. See what else we get out of it. I'm grabbing everything we can, I don't even know what all this is, but everything we can get, I'm getting. Um, one thing the game did say that I liked is no loot crates. Instead, you use salvage uh, pods that you get from things like this, and I think that's very cool. Uh, most of you know I am, like most of you gamers out there, sick of the loot crate BS and EA's BS. So support games like this, guys. Go to the Kickstarter. Even if you donate just a few bucks to say, hey, thank you for not being a greedy uh, uh, loot crate person, I'm sure the developer would definitely appreciate it because you're basically to them saying, look, thank you. Thank you for not being one of those people. So to me, I would say, yes, by far, go ahead and, and thank them, you know? Now we're going to use the map. So let's try this. Whoa! Um, click on Tacit Stella Sector. So this is quest. So there we go. Uh, my, which is the closest space station in this sector? It's the train station and Terra's port. Okay, set in the coordinates. Coordinates sent. Press space. My, situation report on Antara's port. 
This station serves as a crucial hub for business tycoons and mining sector speculators. It has a large port specialized for trade freighters that return full of materials from mining settlements. They also swear they have the best beet soup recipe in the universe. They can keep the beet soup, guys. Oh god, how do I... I, I oh, what did I do? I think I was supposed to get closer. I like that. You can actually see, too, at the beginning here, one of your afterburners is damaged, and I think that's pretty cool that they thought of that. I wonder if docking is auto, not auto, okay. Captain Scott from the 5th Republic Fleet here. We request docking permission. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Receiving coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Oh, look at that. So, left shift and left control. Do little precise movements on lifting your ship up and down. So now we're, oh god, we're gonna go in two and not three. Don't be crazy here. Yeah, let's get closer with three, shall we? And then, we'll, then we'll worry about flying the ship proper. Does that make sense? Up, you fool. Up and over, please. Up and over. Okay, no, no, Jesus. Gonna miss the dock, you genius. You missed the dock. Of course you did. Why would you, right? Okay. So the docking is going to be annoying, I think. But uh, it is what it is, guys. It's my own fault. No one else's. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. It's actually not as bad as I thought now that I read what I really need to do here is simple. I need to go to the highlighted area. No! Jesus, what are you trying to do? <laughs> the ship controls are not as bad as I let on. I'm just learning them, guys, and they're a little different than most other games, so please bear with me on that. I'm actually... I'm not too shabby. Um, and they make quite a bit of sense. I just gotta... I just gotta get used to the turning as well. So the way this seems to work is it says up there in the little infomercial thing is we're gonna go toward this little... little area. A glow will appear. We will try to steer our beauty of a ship here into this area. I actually rather like our starting ship. It reminds me a bit of something Han Solo himself. Would have drove, and of course, many of you know he is one of my absolute idols because I was an 80s kid, and what 80s kid who liked Star Wars did not want to be friggin' Han Solo, let's be honest here. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're just gonna try to go into this themed area, we're going to go up, we're going to go over, and there we go, I think I did it. Now we docked. So great. Yeah, you know, I do apologize. That took me longer than it should have to dock. We look down. Ouch! It hurt. A scruffy young woman begins to collect spinners, metallic objects. Um. Don't worry. Are you hurt? No, it's my fault entirely. Plus our ship repair workshop we're gonna do for you. Actually, we were just looking for a repair shop for a ship. How did you manage to? Alright, we can do it, but it won't be cheap or easy. Alright, so we're gonna... I don't want to ruin all this. 
So I'm gonna let you all uh, read it at your own pace. So pause it and read this. Uh, so it looks like they've kept this game. The space station panel is where all sources are presented, and the crew section will be able to hire different crew members for shift positions. If you have any dead members, remember to hand them in for funeral services in order to free up cargo space. The store section has a possibility to purchase different equipment. Contract panel. And the staff section allows you to store storage products for use um, and new run throughs. Aha! Uh -huh. Very useful. Uh, so we have here two of these that we are going to make two notes for. One of these. Um, so this is going to be my new ship, it looks like. Just handed in my ship. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, they do a good job on one thing. It kind of feels weird heading in your ship. It certainly does. Station, so this is my new ship. It's got a poking generator, a light cannon, light plasma cannon, light cannon, cannon, pulse generator, nuclear missile launcher, mine missile launcher. Uh, and a light cannon of the Republic, light plasma cannon on T2. Um, this one has our accuracy, I think, and all the good stuff, so it's good. So anyways, we are definitely going to stop this there. Thank you guys for watching, I will have links for you all down below. Make sure that you check out, uh... The rest of our videos and subscribe if you haven't. Click down below, click the Kickstarter, make sure you support this game. This is just scratching the surface and it already looks incredible. Um, I apologize for the dogs going crazy in the background, the dogs go crazy sometimes. So, Alright, I am Bones signing off, you guys have a great day.